everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another festive family grocery haul and meal plan. So if you want to see what I've bought this week and what meals we're having for the week ahead then keep watching. So hi everyone, Merry Christmas, welcome back. Um, housekeeping as always, as per the CMA guidelines, I'm required to tell you that I have worked with Tesco in the past, however, obviously this has all been bought with our own money. And if you can hear a bit of background noise, um, my oven, it stinks in here. I've got one of those Neff ones that does that self-cleaning malarkey, um, but it just smells like burning. And so you might be able to hear that, but also I've got my washing no dishwasher on um cleaning the racks and some other bits and bobs on like a, a really hot clean um just trying to get on top of stuff you know while you you know multitasking that thing that we're so good at as ladies um so yeah sorry about any background noise um yeah this is another tesco grocery haul as I mentioned before um got a few like festive items but not many um but hopefully as we get into next week although next week when you see this it'll actually next week will be the christmas week um because these are like a week or so behind but um i will keep sharing as much as i can and try and catch them up a little bit in the run up to christmas now because um it's nice to know what deals are on and stuff isn't it so as always i'm going to take you around show you everything that i've bought and then i will run through the meal plan at the end so let's get cracking okay shall we start with all of the fruit and veg there's lots here this week um and i'll run through it all with you so i've got a big bag of onions this time because we need onions for a fair few recipes this week and um it actually worked out more affordable and um, we've got some maris piper potatoes bacon potatoes two tubs of mushrooms um, I really like mushrooms at the moment and that one's for a recipe and one's for like breakfast and stuff like bacon and mushroom bagels are really good if you've never tried them. Got two cucumbers, celery, garlic apples, they were on offer, big tub of blueberries, two packs of strawberries, bananas, um, more garlic apples. Obviously I bought two because they were on offer and these are probably what eat, get eaten the most at the moment if I'm honest. Um, I love an apple a day, keeps the doctor away or the dentist away or both of them i'm not sure pomegranate to go on some couscous later on um next week mixed leaf salad um another mixed leaf salad and italian wild rocket over there peppers um baby plum tomatoes baby cucumbers three packs of those aubergine sprouts and then we have this many herbs we've got mint flat leaf parsley coriander and sage these are all for like couscous related stuff um, I'm going to bulk cook it so we can have it for lunches as well and then the sage is actually for Jamie Oliver's get ahead gravy and I'll run through more on that in a second um, store company bits, baked beans, hot dogs, sweet corn um, garlic oil I haven't ordered one of these in ages or picked one up elsewhere um, I just really fancied having it in it's really good for adding like extra flavour in a very easy way um, dough balls they were on offer Spinach and ricotta tortelloni, again, just these are a dream to have in when you need a quick dinner for you kids. We have pork cocktail sausages, 50% less fat, soft cheese, Santa Go Blue, this was on offer and it is beautiful. Do you like blue cheese? Let me know. I'm a big blue cheese fan. I feel like I like everything that people sit on the fence about. So I like blue cheese, I like coriander, I like Marmite that kind of thing if it's quite a strong flavor i usually love it um borsan again was on offer and this is just the cheese of christmas i wanted to have this in a because it doesn't go off until next year um it might get eaten this week it might get eaten next week it might get eaten over christmas but i just picked it up because it was on offer and um i actually have a recipe for like borsan pasta on my instagram so i'll try and remember to link that below because it's really good if i do say so myself cream filled mild cheddar slices two packs of those they're 99 pence each this um tub of chicken wings is for the jamie oliver get ahead gravy i'll leave it linked down below i made it last year and um, so when i did a couple of christmas like day cooking 
prep videos last year because I was actually cooking it due to restrictions and stuff. Um, I made it then and it was a game changer. So you basically, what you do is instead of using like a turkey carcass and things like that, which I generally don't have if I'm making Christmas dinner anyway, because we normally buy a crown. Um, you roast these in the oven with celery, onions, carrots of which we already have in, sage, like garlic, um, and then you roast it in the oven with, I think it's like, you can either add port or brandy or something like that. And then you cook it for ages, add your stock, wait for it to like really break down. And then you push it through a sieve and add like cranberry sauce for sweetness and stuff and taste it for seasoning. And then you let it cool, you put it into freezable containers and then you just take it out on Christmas day and or like the night before Christmas Eve, you defrost it leave it to just sit there and all you need to do is put it in a pan and heat it up again and jobs are good and, and it just gives a really really tasty authentic like special gravy for christmas day however if you want to go bisto best which is also a beautiful gravy in my opinion then you can do that too but i told my grandma that i would make this for her because she's hosting so that is on the list of things to do on probably sunday morning um which i'm quite excited about then we have bacon and a different type of bacon these were both on offer if i remember right um and this is better for like bagels and stuff but this is better for cooking because it's got a little bit more fat and um, so i've got those chicken for the couscous dish that i'm doing which to a ham as normal mini breadsticks to go with the hummus and um, either for snacks or pat lunches i think i've already said cocktail sausages mature cheddar this one was on offer again um we paused our earth and wheat box again this week purely because like we just don't need it at the moment i feel like we'll probably start it up again um in the new year because it's better for like lunches and stuff but right now um sometimes i just feel like we're overladen with bread a bit and um, so we've got some flatbreads um hot dog rolls red onion and chive bagels these are just my favorite at the moment i'm normally a sesame girl but i'm loving these Warburton's toasty and then let's go over to the back area here so frozen items got some potato stars and those mini pizzas that I always tend to pick up and I pick them up and I pimp them I add more like um cheese or different toppings and stuff and they're just very quick and easy to have in the only thing I will say is that Tesco used to do Christmas potato shapes and you could get a star you got a father Christmas and a snowman I think something like that but they've stopped doing them and i've been searching every single shop and they're just not there anymore so i'm just getting the potato stars just because sometimes when i do like quick and easy festive dinners for the kids i like to get themed stuff because it's a bit of fun and i just can't get them anymore that's a shame if anyone from Tesco sees this please bring them back because i always appreciate them pepperami strings and things both on offer derrily dunkers also on offer um, these are very very sweet um, gingerbread um, Christmas trees now don't be fooled though there's not four in a pack there's actually two um, I only bought one pack because um, they're for Sunday and Bill won't actually be here which sucks because it's the Christmas um, activity calendar says that day that they're going to have a North Pole breakfast and that's what I was going to use them for which is a shame, um, but um, he's always so good about that and he's always really excited to see his dad too. So I only pick one up, but just be mindful if you buy them um, and you've got more than two children, you're gonna have to pick up multiple. They are in the two for, I think is it two pounds or three pound deal for baked goods though. And I also, to make advantage of that, I got these um, mini double chocolate muffins. They don't go off until um, like, near the end of december you can see that i don't know if you can see but it says 28th so they'll last us a while and they're resealable which is handy squashings i got um munch bunch i got they were still on offer each um and then i got two packs of the slurpees again because the obsession reigns on and then here these aren't all from tesco but i just thought i would show you them anyway i actually picked up the 30 percent less fat dairy spray cream but um one of the activities in our advent calendar again next week is let's make a christmas hot cocoa so i've got some hot like no what have i got Choc cocoa powder from aldi in my cupboard i forgot to get that out but you know what cocoa powder looks like by now i've got some candy canes these snowman mallows that I picked up from 
B&M and I have this which we've had in for a while now it's the cinnamon sugar dusting uh, which is great on porridge as well by the way and then I also have some Christmas um, sprinkles and I'm going to set it up so there's I'm going to put it all in a row and they can make their own hot chocolate so I'll make the hot chocolate with milk and um, the cocoa powder and then they can decorate it themselves so I just thought I would show you those now because it's easier to explain isn't it but these were home bargains they were being um these were from Cherries, who obviously I've worked with in the past, and then these by Tesco. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. And then over here, finally, we're running out of toilet rolls. So I picked up one of those, just the Tesco one. Um, some wrapping paper for the birthday parties that we have at the weekend. This is Ramsey, Gordon Ramsay's Elegante Risotto. Um, I just wanted to try it. Mark's obsessed with Gordon Ramsay, He's like a proper fangirl, loves him. Um, and I saw it and it was on offer and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. Um, and I'll probably never buy it again because it's quite expensive normally, but um, we're gonna give it a good old go, Ramo, and see if he can do wine or not. And then the IHOP Seco was on offer as well. So I picked one of those up for Christmas ham day to take with me. And then we needed some Cake Zero and some 7-Up. We've not bought a pack of 7-Up in a ages um but yeah stocked up on those as well and i think altogether it was about 110 pounds this week um, and that is everything So it's Thursday and I meal plan from Friday onwards. It comes on a Thursday now purely because the kids aren't here and I feel like I can focus my time better on my children um, than filming all of this because all of this, believe it or not, will take up to two hours to sort, um, especially if I go straight on to editing and stuff and I don't want that coming out of my kids' time. So. Friday we are somewhat leaving this open as we tend to do these days but I'm loath to always get takeaways some days we eat stuff out the freezer because I bulk cook quite a lot so we always have things in the freezer like curries and chilies and things like that and if we get back from my grandparents at a reasonable-ish time then that is what we will tend to do just stick something in the oven chuck a bit of rice on have some tortilla chips or some naan bread depending on what it is that we've made and jobs are good in um, and then sometimes when we just get back late and neither of us can be quite frankly asked um, then we'll get a takeaway but we do leave it open because my grandparents like us going to visit them on a Friday it like makes their day and I would never ever ever not go because it makes my day too and um, obviously if restrictions change I feel like I have to say that but currently it's like it makes them really happy um, and obviously the only time I ever miss it is if like one of the kids is ill or like obviously if COVID ever gets us um, then that as well. But um, yeah, we're leaving it open, but Bill still obviously has Jiu Jitsu, so we will do something quick and easy for the kids. I have options. I have hot dogs, I have pizzas, I have fresh pasta, um, I have freezer tapas um and all sorts so it will be a case of asking them what they fancy because sometimes it's just nice to ask isn't it um saturday is the long awaited christmas ham day that we have not done for two years um i don't want to get emotional but honestly i can't actually even believe it's happening last year my mum did christmas ham day and did it in such a way where she just basically did a little delivery service and dropped off some food for everybody so it, she mainly just did ham and she brought everyone like a french stick and she did little she decanted chutneys and stuff into little tubs and, and things like that and then i did some extra party food and we tried to make a night of it and we facetimed and um god it makes me feel a bit emotional because like last year we didn't spend any time with family over the Christmas period. I know that, um, one second. <laughs> That's my oven finished. Yeah, we didn't spend any time with family. We, obviously, we were allowed to um, at certain times and there was that like little like Christmas break thing where you could pair up with another household or something, but we just chose not to. And um, last year, I just, 
we we made it magical for the kids regardless but for us as adults me and mark in particular we're not fussed about presents and things like that anymore um, and family was like a huge thing missing from last year and to actually be able to experience that time together this year fingers crossed um you know we boris and his croonies doing their number 10 christmas dues but then plan b's and this that and the other i just hope that nothing else happens or goes wrong but we can only be hopeful like, like hope's all you've got sometimes isn't it um so we're doing christmas hand day we're going there to my mum's and we're going to enjoy ourselves and just make the most of it i'm really excited you can probably tell because i feel like i'm talking about this and i'm rambling but it's only because it's like it means a lot i'm sorry <laughs> uh, let's be quick sunday um this weekend also is a weekend of birthday parties so bill has a birthday party on saturday evening which is like part way through christmas ham day but his friend actually lives around the corner from my parents so we're dropping him off there he's going to an escape room party and then his dad um is actually going to pick him up from his friends and then he's going to his dad's until monday and then we'll see him again after school on monday so i've got i think of that i brought presents for that <laughs> and then um daisy had a birthday party a double birthday party on sunday afternoon it's from three till five i think um which is like it's kind of dinner time that for us so normally i would do like a roast or something fancy especially at this time of year but I'm honestly going to go to the butchers that's uh, like round the corner from me. I'm going to get some of their special like sausages that they do because they're the best sausages in the world. They're so nice. And I'm just going to do like sausage mash, gravy and veg because it's easy. I'm not entirely sure whether a daisy will want something because sometimes at Christmas parties, not Christmas parties, at birthday parties they come back like full of sweets and sugar and party food and stuff and they don't want anything and then sometimes because they've gotten so excited they don't eat that much and they come back ravenous so you never know what you're gonna get so um i think that's what i'm gonna do just keep it really simple and to be honest that just takes the pressure off me then as well because like it just it's an easy one to make isn't it um monday as part of our activity advent calendar that we do every year one of the things that they're doing on monday i already know in advance because i've got it all in the spreadsheet <laughs> so i know what's happening before they do um monday is pick whatever you want for tea now my children depending on what mood they're in they could be like right young lady you are taking us to mcdonald's or we're getting a chippy tea or they could just request something that they really fancy like the you know it might be like pizza and i'll go and buy a pizza so they get to choose and um we've left that open for that reason i chose monday because it's a relatively quiet day of our week after school um and it just means that we have the freedom to enjoy it a bit more cheese day um i'm gonna do grilled chicken i'm gonna marinate it with like i've got some lemons left in the fridge still so like lemon juice olive oil oregano garlic and then i'm gonna grill it in the oven do some couscous with roasted veg and flatbreads i think everybody will really enjoy that and it's quite a nice like it's a fairly light one um and very veggie heavy wednesday i'm just going to do baked potatoes with a choice of toppings and salad it's like i do like a baked potato station so I make loads of toppings leave them out everybody helps themselves to what they want and it's quite nice it's a nice one to like help kids experiment and stuff um thursday i'm going to do um potentially like a blue cheese pancetta and tomato pasta with garlic bread um and I might bulk cook that, give it the kids first because that's like a busy day for clubs and then we'll eat the leftovers later. Or if the kids like retch uh, um, the thought of blue cheese, then I might do them something different again. I just need to sort of run it by them. Sometimes I can sneak ingredients in and they'll be like, oh, this is yummy. And I'm like, oh, you're eating mushrooms. And then they'll be like, you tricked us. But I don't care because then it kind of normalizes different ingredients doesn't it they'll just have to see um but obviously as you saw from my grocery haul there was no pancetta because there was none left so i'm gonna have to pick that up from somewhere else or just use bacon which i probably do to be honest if it needs using up so that is the grocery haul for this week i hope you found it useful sorry for telling you my life story i must be in one of those moods today maybe it's because it's a therapy day i don't know um but i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day your evening whenever you're watching this and i will hopefully see you all very very soon merry christmas <laughs>